just uh, I'll just I'll just go over there. <coughs> as you're going, I'll try and follow you. Okay, we can just stop it otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Bojo anin dene magani tok nigani akin anin dish ne kas kinyo do te. Hello everyone. We are living in a world in which we have reached a time when nature is encouraging everyone to, to change. We must come to fully realize, as members of the human family, we are all connected, and what happens to one of us happens to all of us. The first peoples were put here by the great love of the Great Spirit to evolve to become a spiritual people who would take care of this part of Mother Earth that we call Turtle Island. Our ancestors fulfilled that promise through faith and promises they made to the Great Spirit. In humbleness and gratitude, they lived and survived by supporting the laws of the land. In our hearts as the original peoples, we believe that the earth is alive, a living entity. When we can all believe and understand this is when we will begin to live in harmony again with the earth. We must take better care of the earth beneath our feet. My message here today is that as the original peoples, of our homeland, we have a spiritual duty to share with our brothers and sisters who have arrived in our homeland. Our duty is about educating and creating an awareness of, of a belief system that is based on connection to a higher power of intelligence found in spirit and in the land itself. Our ancestors were able to read the signs of nature and act accordingly. The animals were the first to announce the change in the weather, to announce something was happening to the land. We have known very well nature's laws are self-enforcing and must be followed if we are to to survive. Today we make an appeal to all our relatives, brothers and sisters, to consider listening to the knowledge held by the knowledge keepers of our nations. We share a vision our ancestors left for all of us. As much has been created through technology, industry, academics, humanity finds itself lacking in the knowledge and values of relationship to live in a world where all life is treated with respect, common decency, and dignity. Through the changes we are seeing today, weather changes, new sicknesses including COVID-19, I believe nature is issuing a wake-up call. We have always been in a state of evolution. We must plant a new seed of life. Re-educating ourselves must become paramount. Take time to get to know the ways of the First Peoples and our respectful relationship with the land. Work with indigenous spiritual knowledge keepers who can lead with our teachings, following ancestral protocols of relationship with the land, in addition to the great scientific and academic minds of our time. Begin with prayer and meditation to connect with a higher level of intelligence that comes from the land. In revolutionizing the education of all children, 
All possible support should be given to the mothers to teach the children. It is the mothers who are the first and most important teachers who naturally carry the values that can act as a foundation for, for one's life. There was a law practiced by our ancestors, teachings given to a child that last forever, that can only be given by a woman. The boys, of course, have to be taught by the fathers, grandfathers and the elders that share the teachings of the responsibilities of men. Today we call out to Mother Earth to help us to change, to become better children of the Earth. The real changes begins with supporting the women, the life givers, by providing them the knowledge of the grandmothers. The ancestors of our nations depended upon the book of nature to give them understanding of their purpose in life. Our ancestors understood she was alive and also that she carried intelligence. When we can reach a level to love one another as brothers and sisters, and we are prepared to share and to give is when we can move beyond racism, inequalities, and the violence we see in our world. We meet these challenges by realizing the simple truth. We are all in this together, and we are all affected. Generosity is our choice of action. Generosity is not just good for us, but essential for our survival. When we give of ourselves, by natural law, the abundance will return to us in some way. This is a bit of wisdom we all would do well to, to absorb. Taking it down to the root of why there is so much separation and so much abuse toward the earth, it is a value system based on greed and selfishness that has created a system that exploits not only the land, the animals, the plants, but human beings as well. The first peoples of America know our creation story very well. All across the nations we have our own variations of our creation stories, and yet in all our stories of origin, and in the hearts of every red man, every red woman, we know that the Great Spirit, the Great Spirit strategically placed us here in this part of the world. We were placed here on this great turtle island with unique gifts that help us to understand the meaning of life. Part of our responsibility is to share why we love the land so much and how we should take better care of her. We were given original instructions on how to treat the land and how to treat each other. One of our greatest gifts is the capacity to make choices in a way we want to live as human beings. What is most unfortunate is that many choices were made that did not reflect a higher morality that spirituality instinctively we all carry. We have retained the memory that is still held by the knowledge keepers of our nations. This knowledge is needed more than ever. Simply, it is a knowledge of living a human and humble life directly connected to the earth where we, are all, where we all derive our sustenance. In our world as First Peoples, listening to our dreams, our visions, and the voice spoken by the heart are the most powerful facts that we can rely on in our search for knowledge. We have to teach our children the values that show respect for everyone. Teach them about the land. The best education is not one that teaches us to be 
the best education is one that teaches us to be respectful and responsible citizens. This foundation should come from our homes, in our families. None of us are exempt from natural law. One of these important laws is what you do to the land, you do to yourself. By natural law, life begins with a seed that is based on a vision that requires nourishment to grow. <clears throat> the Persian philosopher Romy said, every leaf that grows will tell you what you sow will bear fruit. So if you have any sense, my friend, don't plant anything but love. The ancient Chinese philosopher Latso, to see things in the seed, that is genius. American author Mary Davis says, we can't change people, but we can plant seeds that may one day bloom into them. We need a seed, a new vision that will help us to unite, to find common purpose that we can work on. There are those amongst us as the original people of our homeland who still remember our ancestors way of life which can form the foundation of what that seed could be. The seed of life, the seed of the new life must be planted by the people of the heart. Those with compassion, those of all colors who have arrived on our homeland. Each people has a part to play in the creation and planting of that seed. As the red people of color, this is our call to those who know and understand their origins and the gifts that they hold, representing your color in the circle of human life. We all need to go back to the origins of our identity as people and understand our uniqueness and the gifts that we can bring. We will find the essence of that seed of new life within us. This seed is a vision that the people of the heart hold. It is a vision of what is best for our children and what is best for the earth. In order to have real change, it must begin from the ground up. The tree of life drops the seed that defines the, its identity as, as a tree and as it grows. Great Spirit drops a vision of life from spirit and it is given to someone to plant and manifest on the earth. This is the seed of a vision a dream that defines our path to peace. They say each person is given a dream in life. Treat that dream like a seed to be manifested and planted into our world. To reach a level of peace will require generations of transformation and growth. It is what we do now and planting a seed to, to ensure there is growth towards peace. Each of us must begin with ourselves and our immediate families. Central should be the children. We must transform ourselves into efforts of service as real people who serve each other and Mother Earth rather than simply restricting to serving our pocketbooks. Mother Earth will be the deciding factor and ensuring we change. All we need to do is to make that journey within where the truth we are all searching for is held in the spirit. Real change comes from within each of us. This is where we, we must begin. This is a journey to discover who we really are, our true identity. A human being without the spiritual education and self-awareness 
is like a building without a foundation. One of the most important roles in the in the in the change will be the role of the Ogimakwek, the life givers, the mothers of our nations. In nature, balance is usually referred to in the, fe in, the in the female and male species. You cannot have life w one without the other. It is women who have been given the same power of the earth in order to bring life into this world. The young girl must be taught by the mother, the aunties and the grandmothers, how she lives her sacred gift to bring life into this world. The first natural teacher of the world is the mother. Planting the seed of a new life will lay the groundwork for something that can develop in the future. This is our duty as human beings. Planting the seed will cause and stimulate growth and development. Nature dictates there is a time for planting and there is a time for harvest. The seed of a new life must be worked upon and then the forces of the earth align with us to ensure the growth of that seed. During this period of growth, there needs to be a constant show of gratitude through prayer and ceremony. We must rely on the help of nature. Mother Earth will nourish the seed of the new life that will grow into peace we all want in our world. Today, on this day of acknowledgement for indigenous people, let us accept the truth that we are all brothers and sisters and that each of us has a significant role to bring change into our world. In order to begin to heal as humanity, to feel again, we must make that journey to the land that's inspired by our, our hearts. Miigwech, thank you.